Hello everyone and welcome back. In this video, we'll see a new AI tool which is complemented to a spreadsheet program and which is going to help you scale up your work and optimize your performance. The name of this tool is Quadratic. Quadratic is a new AI application spreadsheet program which will help you to write different type of Python codes, JavaScript codes and also SQL. Not only formulas, but this kind of languages also can be integrated into this tool. Let's try to understand in detail about this quadratic tool. Now, very first thing to open this application, we have to just go to the website quadratichq.com. It's a web-based application. That means you can log in from any part of the world, any laptop you can log in. First, you need to sign up. If you don't have an account, sign up process is very simple. Sign up with your Gmail account. You can just sign up on this place. Now, once you log into this particular place after sign up, you'll be jumping to this home page. On the left hand side of the screen, you can see there are various options available where you can connect with different databases. On the right hand side, you can see the recently open applications which are created. These are the sample spreadsheet programs we have created. Now, to begin with, if I want to create a new particular file, what I can do here is I can just click on this new button on the right hand side. That's one option. Or else on the left hand side, if you see there's a new button plus icon over here. Once you click on this plus icon, you'll be jumping to the fresh new blank spreadsheet over here. Now remember, this is a blank spreadsheet program. You can use it anywhere. The best part is a single person can use it or multiple users can use this particular spreadsheet. That's so simple. We can share with different people. Now, three things we'll see in this particular video. The first one will see how to create a dummy data, a sample data for working. The second will see how to work on creating visuals, a simple column chart or a bar chart. And the last one, we'll see how to write a Python code. And with the help of Python code, how do we create an animated visual? Let's try to understand. Here, we'll give a simple prompt that create a table with 30 name of employees and their sales done in the last 12 months in 2024. A simple prompt is given and we just push the data over here. Now, once you press enter over here, it will take few seconds and then you can see the data on the screen is visible. Within 30 seconds, a data is visible on the screen here. That's very simple. Now, same way, if I want to analyze the data, see all the 30 names we might not see. Imagine if you want to see the top 10 highest performing people over here, what we can do is we can write a prompt over here, create a horizontal bar chart with the top highest selling person over here, top 10 sales people over here. Now, once you do that, you enter the prompt. What happens at the back end? It's creating a Python code and within few lines of code, you can see a simple horizontal bar chart is created. That's so simple over here. Now, this bar chart, this looks a little boring. If you want to animate this particular bar chart, we write a simple line of uh, prompt over here. Make the same chart as animated bar chart. Now, again, within few seconds, you see the same chart is converted to animated bar chart. This kind of animated visuals you can prepare with the help of same this tool named as quadratic. Now, let's try to add some flavor to this. L suppose we want to change the theme. You see the theme of the colors are not so good looking. If you want to change the theme of these colors, let's say we want a McDonald's theme. We'll just type a prompt over here. Change the color theme to McDonald's color theme style. And then once we put the prompt, Within few seconds, the old visual will be converted into a new one. And you can see the McDonald's theme would be applied over here. And the last one, with the help of this same prompt and the Python code, you can see the changes can be added. So this kind of different variety of options you can apply. Now, this was a simple example with the help of Python code. You can also use different uh, JavaScript. You can use SQL language and still work on different databases. You can import the data from different data sources. You can see on the right hand side top various data sources, you can import the data here. Now, one interesting thing is this quadratic HQ is backed up with the all AI features. Now, definitely there's an LLM which is supporting over here. The LLM here is right now GPT, we have Claude and many other LLMs supporting here. So all these different tools you can use and based on the prompt you get it, you get the output according to your database here. When you come to this page, which is app.quadratichq.com, on the left hand side, you will find plenty of resources. The first one, when you click on examples, you can see on the right hand side, these are plenty of examples which are already created. For example, if you're working the stock market analysis, you can see the stock market analysis template. When you scroll down, there are plenty of different templates which you can use. Airport distance calculator template, business expense tracking template and so on. With these templates, you'll find the sample data. Along with the sample data, the visuals are also created. So maybe what we can do is we can just click on Startup Portfolio Tracking Template. Once you click on that, it will create a dummy data along with the visuals already present on it. 
Now, if you're working in this particular department, let's say startup portfolio, you might change the numbers and start working on that. The visuals are already created. You just need to see the data and accordingly you can use it for your purpose. Now, if you want to modify something, you can put a prompt and you can get the work done. Let's come back to the back to dashboard. Once you come back to this particular place, you can see on the left hand side in the personal option, there is shared with me. When you click on shared with me, if someone has already shared the files with you, you can see all the files available here. You can also search the files which are shared by the person by the file name or the creator's name. And you can see all the data over here. Similarly, on the left hand side bottom, if you see, there's an option given as docs. When you click on this, a new tab opens and this is a kind of help, a library, which will give you all the notes related to quadratic HQ. So one by one, you can scroll down. You can see the tutorial videos are given here. You can scroll down. If you're a new person and do not know how to get started, this is the best place for you. These are the left hand side, all the table of contents. If you're a Python person, you can use this Python tutorial. If you're a JavaScript person, if you are an Excel or Google Sheet person, you can use this option. Plenty of different options are available and you can use it as per your requirement. Coming back to the home page over here, at the bottom, you can see there's an option given as Labs. When you click on Labs, it will help you with two different options. The first one is Appearance. So choose Light or Dark Mode. You can just enable this option and you can choose what options do you want. Do you want a light option or do you want a dark option? Once you click on the dark option, the entire screen at the back end will be dark. So people who are gamers, people who are video editors, they usually use this dark theme. They like to use it. Similarly, if you enable the accent color, you can select the accent color based on the requirement. So we can choose a custom accent color throughout the app. Let's say orange we can select and you can see the buttons on the right hand side are changed into orange. You can select the rose option and so on. Let's stick to the orange option. And now when you create a new file on the left hand side, you can see the options, the buttons will be the orange color. So once you click on this new button, when a new template, a new blank file is created, you can see it will be in the black color mode. Wherever the options, colors have to change, that is in the orange color. Coming back to the home page, now on the left hand side, you also have an option of bringing the data from different data sources, like you can have connections. You also have the data which you can bring from MySQL, Snowflake, SQL Server and SQL. So you can just click on this plus sign, give your credentials and you can import the data in this quadratic HQ. Now the best part about this tool is it's completely free for the personal use. If you're going beyond 10 users, you might be charged over here. So completely free for the personal use. And it can be used by various departments and domain people. Like if you're working in the finance, in the operations, in the HR, in the sales, or if you belong to C-suite uh, department over there, any people. So this is a simple user-friendly web-based application. The best part about this content it is the user interface is kept like your Excel and Google Sheets, giving a feel about simple user-friendly and all. And also this is used for all the data analysis. If you want to analyze your old existing data, you can bring the data in this tool and you can analyze the data. Now, the best part is this quadratic tool, the entire code is kept onto GitHub. You can see the link given in the chat window and the description. So if you like this tool, click on the link below given in this comment box and the description, and you can explore this quadratic HQ tool, which is trending and booming right on the market.